Citrus greening is a citrus fruit disease that is spreading rapidly all over the world. You might have heard of HLB, which comes from Huang Long Bing, or citrus greening. These are different names for the same disease. Citrus greening is the deadliest bacterial disease of citrus today. There is no cure. This is why prevention is even more important. Currently, citrus greening is found in 40 countries. It has spread rapidly from China to the United States, then to Brazil, and from 2009 to Mexico. The citrus greening disease has been already detected in seven of the top 10 orange producing countries across the world. They already suffer from significant economic losses. In 2009, when the disease was reported the first time, four states of Mexico were affected. Today, all states with citrus greening production in Mexico suffer from citrus greening. Citrus greening, or HLB, is caused by the bacterium Candidatus liberibacter, which clogs or degenerates the veins of the trees, responsible for transporting sugars and nutrients to all parts of the plant. Therefore, citrus greening impairs the tree's ability to take in nourishment, causing loss of vigor, branch dieback, and plant death. The diseased trees produce bitter, smaller, and misshapen fruit. And the really bad thing about the disease is, once a tree is infected, there is no cure. Therefore, we need to understand how the disease spreads so that we can break the cycle. Let's have a look at the infection circle. The bacteria is transmitted from tree to tree by a vector insect called the Asian citrus sea lid. Diaphorina feeds on the stems and leaves of the trees, infecting the trees with the bacteria that causes citrus greening. If the tree is infected, various symptoms can be developed. The shoots can appear yellowish or pale green. Citrus leaves from HLB positive trees show blotchy model yellow discolorations appearing in non-symmetrical patterns. The fruits have uneven colorations and the size is reduced. This is a normally maturing citrus fruit with color break initiating at the styler end progressing upward to the green stem area of the fruit. Here you can see a HBL positive fruit with color inversion. The color break is inverted with styler end, remaining green while the stem area of the fruit is already orange. Another symptom are lopsided fruits and aborted seeds. To prevent trees from citrus greening, apply the following measures. Using certified disease-free trees or cuttings. Create a barrier of tall trees and low trees around the orchard to prevent diasporina entering from other orchards. Maintain continuous monitoring of the trees, and in case of symptomatic trees, check the disease by means of tests. Elimination of diseased tree. In conventional citrus production, chemical insecticides are often applied against diasporina to stop HLB from spreading. With the application of pesticides, diaphorina becomes more resistant and at the same time kills the beneficial insects in the orchard. In the end, it is a dead end cycle that leads to production failure and high contamination of the environment. The general principle of organic production is working with nature and therefore emphasizes a good understanding of the farming system. To integrate organic production practices into a wider context that supports sustainability. In practice, this requires strong indirect and direct interventions at both plot and farm level to optimize organic production. To achieve this, it is important to maintain agroecosystems with interconnected natural spaces. Appropriate management of cultural practices in order to strengthen the proper development of the tree. For example, 
adequate pest monitoring, or soil fertility enhancement practices. Encourage eco-functional biodiversity that promotes the development of beneficial insects and reduces diseases. Use of biological control with beneficial insects, microorganisms, for example, entopathogenic fungi. Finally, the use of natural plant extracts with insecticidal effect 